So I'm starting this list off with a gem that I picked up for less than $8. And that wasn't for a sample. That was for 88 mils or three flowing ounces. Three flowing ounces. The fragrance I'm talking about is 1973's Jovan Musk. And the name is accurate. This is a musky, warm, aromatic, spicy fragrance. Top notes are going to be carnation, pepper, lime, and lemon. In those middle notes, we're going to see lavender, a bit of spice, amber, and mint. And the base of this fragrance, the strength, you've got those musk and wood notes. And let me be clear, this is a fragrance that's not going to please the masses. This is a classic fragrance. This is a barbershop fougere. This is a masculine scent with that musk, with a bit of floral notes, with that aromatic scent. This is something that's going to hark back to your father, to your grandfather, when they were a young man, when he was picking up your grandma. Seriously though, if you like classic fragrances, Jovan Musk is a banger at a rock bottom price. In today's video, gents, I'm listing out over 20 fragrances, well under 20 bucks. So that first one, not everyone's going to love, but if you want a crowd pleaser, again, under nine bucks, check out Cuba Gold. This is a lavender, woody, aromatic vanilla fragrance that is very sweet and is a crowd pleaser because it's a clone of a very popular, more expensive fragrance. Can any of you guys guess which one it is? Going once, going twice, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mal. Now, are they exactly the same? No, of course not. This one's going to last longer and it costs upwards of almost $100. This one here, under 10 bucks. A no-brainer if you're looking for a sweet fragrance that's going to draw her in. Opening notes on this are pink pepper and grapefruit. Lavender and vetiver are going to make up the mid. And making up that base, you got vanilla, amber, and tonka bean. Those are strong. This is a sweet fragrance throughout the life of it. Now, what if you want a fresh fragrance? You want something with a bit of citrus, something for the spring, for the summer? This next fragrance I picked up for $12.34, and I bet 99% of you have never heard of it. The fragrance I'm talking about came out of Japan in 1997, and it's called Hane Mori. And yes, I know I probably just butchered that pronunciation, but guys, I'm trying. And if you've watched my videos and you've seen me mispronounce things, do me a favor, smash on that like button. That way these videos are found by more people. Now, this is a vanilla, citrus, woody, aromatic fragrance that's incredibly complex. Top notes are going to be citrus and aromatic. We've got lemon, we have the black currant, we have a bit of lavender, and we've got some green notes in the top. In the heart, we jump into florals with jasmine, iris, rose, and lily of the valley. The base of this fragrance is where it really shines, especially if you put a little bit more on. I'm talking eight plus sprays. Vanilla, tonka bean, chocolate, sandalwood, amber, Virginia Cedar and Oak Moss. Now, the bad news is you only get a 50 ml bottle, but the great news is this is a really good complex fragrance that most people overlook. And that's just simply because they're not familiar with these Japanese brands. This right here is an amazing fragrance. And if you go out there and look, you're going to see both an EDT and EDP. I own both and I really can't tell the difference. You're also going to see him. This one's going to be a bit more spicy. I have all four of their fragrances and absolutely love them. Now, speaking of sizes, let's talk about those smaller sizes you're going to see out there. The great thing about this is that you can save money and you can get like a one ounce, but is a one ounce enough. So I'll tell you, you're going to get about four 475 sprays out of a one ounce bottle. Depends on the atomizer, depends on the fragrance, but I will tell you that the average 100 mil is about 1400 sprays. So you're still going to get like three months use out of this. If you're a heavy sprayer, maybe a month and a half. Point being is this is more than enough for you to be able to get a good feel. And if you can find a lot of these, both of these here by Dunhill, I found both of these under 20 bucks. This one, yes, has a fancier bottle, still one ounce. Right here, I've got Desire. I've also got Desire Blue. This one has a bit of an oceanic with citrus. This one citrus with just a bit more of a sweet vibe. Both of them a little bit synthetic. So if you don't like that, then don't try these. But I still like both of them. And again, well under 20 bucks. And speaking of Dunhill, I'm going to go ahead and throw in Dunhill Racing. This is a great spring fragrance, summer fragrance. This is going to be a citrus aromat, just a beautiful fragrance. And if you're willing to spend a bit more, like just over 30 bucks, under 40, you can get the bottle, full bottle, which I absolutely love. Again, just the design and build. I know it's over 20 bucks, but it's a beautiful bottle. And to me, Dunhill makes some really good fragrances. Now let's get back to the super deals. We're talking 100 mil for under 10 bucks. Nine dollars here. You've got the classic Aspen. This is an aromatic fougere. It's, got, it's a woody, fresh, clean fragrance. This classic fragrance came out in 1989. Top notes, you're going to have bergamot, lemon, galbanum, and green notes. In the middle, we're going to have more aromatic and florals with lavender, juniper, geranium, coriander, orange blossom, and jasmine. In the base, we're going to have oak moss, cedar, balsam fir, musk, 
and amber. This fragrance reminds some people of stepping into a pine forest. Some feel it's a bit synthetic, but for under 10 bucks, if you've never smelled it, you need to give it a shot. This is worth a blind buy and it's a classic men's fragrance that isn't going anywhere. And speaking of classics, a list like this would not be complete without Davidoff's Cool Water. As you can see, I've got the original along with a few other flankers. Now, to be honest, unless you buy a small bottle, you're going to be hard pressed to find this under 20 bucks. I was able to get this one well under 20, but this one right here just over. So, with that being said, I'll leave that one off the list, although I still highly recommend it. Now, bring in another Davidoff fragrance, which you can find for under 20 bucks, and that is Zeno. So, in case you don't know, Zeno is the first name of Davidoff, the guy that founded this entire brand. And Davidoff, I know some people say they don't have a lot of great fragrances except for Cool Water. I disagree. I think Davidoff has a great line and I own probably like 15 of their fragrances. But this one is easily one of the ones you can find the cheapest and it's overlooked. It is going to be a bit more masculine. came out in 1986, but it's not dated and it's a bit sweet. It's got this patchouli in there, but this is a woody, strong, manly man fragrance. It's not over the top though. It's got enough sweetness that I think a lot of guys could pull this off. Top notes are bergamot, Brazilian rosewood, lavender and clary sage. Next up, we got a lot of florals right there in the center. We've got rose, geranium, jasmine, and lily of the valley. At the base, we've got sandalwood, cedar, patchouli, and vanilla. Like I said, this fragrance gets overlooked all the time. Cool water is the cheapy that everyone goes to in the Davidoff family. But this fragrance right here, if you haven't smelled it before, I think it's worth a blind buy. And this is a solid, cheap, and just great smelling fragrance. <laughs> Now, really quick, interrupting my own video here because I want to share with you guys the update on Mission Fragrances. If you haven't heard, this is my fragrance line that's going to focus in on the science of scent. We're helping you understand notes and the way that they can affect your mood to make you more focused at work, to make you feel better about yourself when you're having a down day. I just love fragrances. And what I discovered over the last few years is that there's all this research, all this data, and how men can condition themselves to feel better, to perform better. Imagine if you could have a certain fragrance that you would smell every time before you went to the gym or you're trading up for an event. Whatever it may be, you can have a fragrance associated with that so it can put you in the zone, in your game mode. And that's what I'm excited about, guys. Putting out a series of fragrances. There are going to be three. Narrowing down the three I'm going to work with. It's really close. If you're interested in any of this, this sounds cool. Check the link down in the description. It's going to go take you over to Mission Fragrances. Get on my early bird list. I don't have anything to sell you right now. I'm sharing with you this idea, this passion that I'm excited about and I would love to have you on that list. So, I'll be sending updates to that list. I think this is really going to revolutionize the fragrance industry. So, again, grab that link down in the description. Click on it, go over to Mission Fragrances and learn more. Now, at this point, I've got a couple usual suspects. You've seen these on lists before. We have Nautica Blue. I picked this one up for $11. And then I've got Nautica Voyage. Picked this one up for $14. Again, I'm grabbing these on discounters across the web down in the description of today's video. I will link over to another video that goes into more detail how to get these amazing deals. But I'll tell you that both of these fragrances are good. They're not like amazing in terms of going to last forever. But here's the thing, 14 bucks, And I would say that Nautica Voyage of the two is better. Has a little bit more depth. It's got a little bit of that oceanic smell. This is a solid summer fragrance. This could be a signature scent for a lot of you, especially younger guys or you're 34 and you're just simply changing careers. You want to smell good this summer? Grab Nautica Voyage. That being said, you're up for spending 14 bucks. You want to smell like a man. You want to go a little bit old school? Check out Quorum. This is a woody, mossy. This is a masculine scent and this thing has balls. It will last a quite a while and that's one of the reasons I love it. It's definitely something that, yeah, I mean, for 14 bucks, you could blind buy it. And if you want some a bit more aquatic, again, it's got some cojones to it, but it's lighter and it has more of an aquatic feel, check out Quorum aqua. This one I think was 15 bucks. So, yes, if you're a big spender, go grab this one. Now, I get it though, you want something sweeter and you got a little bit more money to spend. Let's say 15, 16 dollars. Rochas, man, this is going to be a coffee sweet vanilla. I've talked about it before. It's just a great deal. It's got a kind of, kind of a funny looking bottle here, but I will say it came out in 1999. So, it's a little bit older of a fragrance. And again, the ladies love sweet fragrances. So, this one right here is a good one to go with. Now, what if you want the most bang for your buck? You're willing to spend just a bit more because you're going to get paid in volume. Guys, 
eight ounces of goodness right here, great flannel. So if you want a greener fragrance, you want a woody fragrance, you want a classic fragrance that you can splash on in the morning, and yeah, you can be generous because eight ounces here for 17 bucks, guys, gray flannel is a great place to start. And again, gents, don't be fooled by the price. This fragrance came out in 75 and it's a relatively complex fragrance. Top notes are gonna be lemon, bergamot, neroli, pettigrain, and galbana. Middle notes are violet, iris, geranium, mimosa, sage, and rose. At the base, we've got cedar, vetiver, oak moss, tonka bean, and almond. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't smell any almond in this, but if you want a classic aftershave that you can be a bit generous with in the morning, gray flannel is a great place to start. That being said, if you got 23 bucks, Paul Sebastian is a good choice as well. And now that I busted that $20 mark, I might as well talk about a few other fragrances. They're going to be just above that. Some of the more popular ones you're going to see out there, the CK line. You're going to see one, you're going to say B, you're going to see one right here, Shock. Oh, which one should you go with? These are going to be fresher, they're going to be clean, and they're incredibly popular for a reason. They are not offensive. They simply work, but they are relatively weak. I do think Shock is actually a decent winter fragrance. If you're looking for something cheap, it's going to have a little bit strong, a little bit heavier of a vibe to it, but these ones are perfectly fine, And you, but you can find them all over the place. Do I highly recommend them? No, but if you happen to have one fall in your lap, why not? Now, surprisingly, Mont Blanc has some pretty good fragrances, well under 30 bucks. If you look around, I've got Individual and I've got Starwalker, and I'm going to recommend them because of some unique properties. So first up, Individual. The unique note, the note that's going to stand out for me is sandalwood. And I have to admit that in general, this wasn't a note that I was drawn to. And jupe was my introduction to it, and I just don't like that. Way overpowering. But then I tried original Santal, and I was like, this is really good, really nice. I could go for this, but this is really expensive. This fragrance is very similar. Now, is it as strong? Actually, Creed fragrances aren't strong. I would say that they're very close, but this is going to be one-tenth the price of this one right here. So if you have never tried sandalwood, if you like sandalwood fragrances, this is a good cheap one to grab. Now, Starwalker, besides having a pretty cool name, this is a good fragrance. It's a citrus, it's gonna be a bit aromatic, and the unique note in here is bamboo. But what's interesting is if you like this more expensive, Mana Fresh, right here, this fragrance and this one, very similar. Are they the same? No. And if you've got a little bit more money, you want to spend, you know, 70 bucks, 80 bucks, definitely grab this one. But this one right here, I think if you're looking for a fresh fragrance or a little bit of a unique DNA, this one is one to try. Next up, let's talk about car fragrances. In general, there are some really good car fragrances out there. There are also some really bad ones. But if you look at Ferrari, if you look at Bentley, those have some really good options. But one that gets overlooked is Jaguar. And this is going to be their classic black right here. This is going to be a woody. It's going to be an aromatic fragrance. Is it incredibly unique? No. But I picked this up for 14 bucks. It comes in a beautiful bottle and it's a solid fragrance. A little bit weak. I only get maybe four to five hours out of this fragrance. But I'd have to say for the price, it is a solid buy. Now, what about Ed Hardy fragrances? Occasionally, you're going to see these under 20 bucks, well under 25 oftentimes. They've got some cool designs, but I just feel they're a little bit weak. So, I'm not going to recommend them. Instead, what I would advise you to do is check out Antonio Banderas's fragrances. I've got about 10 of his fragrances and they're good. In general, they're clones of other fragrances or they're inspired by. But is that a bad thing? Not always, especially if you're looking... You're like Paco Rabanne, one million, but it's a little bit too expensive for you. Then check out The Secret or The Golden Secret, which is just the same as The Secret, but just a little bit stronger. Both of these right here are going to give you the feel of Paco Rabanne's one million. Now, I know you got an opinion, and I know some of your favorite cheapies did not make this list. So, let me know down below which fragrances should have been on this list and the deals that you got. I want to hear them down in the comments. And what video to watch next? How about how to get the best deal on the internet when it comes to fragrances? It's not just about saving money, but it's about making sure you don't get a counterfeit fragrance. Yes, they are out there and people are making money selling you crap and I want to make sure that you get the best deal. So, I put together this detailed video. I think it's the best on the web, breaking out exactly how to get the best deal and how to find fragrances that are real. So, guys, check it out. I will link to it as well down in the description.